<clears throat> All right, guys, welcome to episode 158 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go down in the description, check out our Patreon if you haven't done so, get you some merch if you haven't done so. And yeah, man, we're back with another one. It's a beautiful day. How we feeling, Johnny? How we feeling? How we feeling? I'm feeling good, man. <clears throat> I'm feeling good. Um, Allergies been fucking me up, but I'm all right. I'm doing okay. I'm living. I'm feeling alive. I'm feeling beautiful at the same time. Wow. Yeah. That was Round majestic. of applause of that. It was majestic. He's feeling beautiful and alive at the same time. You can't get any better than that, bro. Yeah. That's fucking life. Yeah, man. That's you know, beautiful these, life. these past couple of weeks, you know, we've been having some really, really good guests. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Yeah, Round of out. applause to every single one of you, man. To Locks, Abeck. Uh, Master Q, you know what I'm saying? Everybody has come through, bro. Everybody has come through. If I'm forgetting anybody, you know what I'm saying? We've had multiple of you guys. I'm sorry, but every single last one of you, bro, have been great, man. And we've enjoyed the company for sure, bro. It's been it's been awesome. So yeah. shout out to y'all. I mean, it, you're taking time out of your day. You guys are showing up on time. Like, that's, that's showing yeah, love. Yeah, it's big. And it's consideration and it's respect, bro. Because everybody, you know what I'm saying? When they don't respect you, they ain't going to show up on time. They ain't going to, you know what I'm saying? It's like, so that it's, it's a good, yep. you know what I'm saying? It's a good look. And uh, we appreciate it for sure, for sure. Facts. But uh, we're going to get straight into this bullshit, man. I told y'all a few weeks ago, bro. Told y'all on this same show, you could go back. I was like, bro, this metaverse shit is crazy. It's about to start getting crazy. And people are going to start getting sexually assaulted on there. People laughed. We all laughed. Ah, uh-huh. kept going on with the conversation. But it finally happened, bro. And now there's a rule in the metaverse that you have to, your avatar has to stay four feet apart from what the other oh my god <laughs> i swear i told you bro this is crazy a girl claimed she was sexually assaulted on the metaverse how does that it's not real life though i just don't get it i just hey, don't the i mental, feel like the mental trauma of it or whatever the fuck i don't know the mental I don't trauma know. mental just trauma. take off your headset though yeah you have a cho- <laughs> you have a choice to just take it off and walk away if you don't want to walk away then it's like you like it then i don't know what to tell you nah That's, i wouldn't say that man it's like there's some creepy motherfuckers on there, bro. I had one of my boys t- tell me a story where he almost got sexually assaulted. That's why I brought it up that time. Yeah, he was I remember, like, yeah. He walked into a room in the in the metaverse, and it was one guy by himself raving with, like, lights flashing and shit, and then he wouldn't let him leave the room. And he was, like, being really... He's like, bro, he was weird, bro. Like, even through the fucking... Like, I know he's not there. He's not real, but it was fucking weird, bro. It made you feel weird. Like, yeah, kind of. Yeah, you're just uncomfortable. It's yeah, just like, it's an uncomfortable situation, especially when you're in virtual reality and everything. It looks real. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it makes it feel more real. I but mean, it's not real. I mean, man. the like, graphics, they're, they're real. But I mean, they don't nah, look that they, real. They're shitty. They're right kind of trash. They're like, yeah. Bro, the, the graphics are like the beginning of fucking Nintendo. Yeah, though, it's, like, like, it's like we're back. We're, we're t- <laughs> it's like we're taking a backtrack <laughs> of like, I don't know. We're just going back in time and we're just, you know, we're starting over with the graphics i don't know i i feel like they have the technology to make the graphics look better but i feel like it's going to be too graphic that <laughs> nah, it, it's going to get there at some point man i'm telling you bro like it's going to get there like there's some shit right now where like some people tried it and they were like bro this is looking real like we can't we almost can't tell the difference between that virtual reality and real life so it's getting there already. Yeah, there's an Oculus that costs like eight thousand dollars, bro. That's like really. Yeah, it's like real. Like it really looks real. So but they have they have like different ones, I guess. I don't. I, no, yeah, I don't they know have different levels. It. They have different levels for sure. They have ones that are like a thousand, ones that are like two, three, what? five, ten thousand, whatever. Like imagine what else they got that they don't sell to the public. I think they've had this shit for years. Yeah, that's probably how they train some some like special ops fucking military guys to go and. Do certain things through, Ooh. you know, They're like we're gonna put you in the actual place, like yeah, it's re- like you're really there. Yeah, we're, we're gonna throw some water at you, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking hit you over the head with a two up, by four, beat you up in the ribs, <laughs> motherfucker. You wanna? I wanna show you, you wanna how basic. Military? You wanna know what basic training is like, huh? Let me let me put you through this. All right, no, nah, put you in a freezer. Put you in the fucking you know, water board, you. Yeah, hell no. <laughs> nah, but listen, man. Yeah, that that's just something I want to bring up. I told y'all, motherfuckers, it was gonna happen, and it happened in less than fucking two months. <laughs> All yeah, right, somebody is. claimed sexual assault on the metaverse. It's crazy, bro. It's a crazy time that we live in. Yeah. But uh, y'all go down in the comments and let us know if you think you could even be sexually assaulted on the metaverse. Like, if it's something that you like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you agree with it or not, I I absolutely don't. 
Yeah, I, I think it's pretty fucking stupid. I think it's dumb. Like, pull out a gun in the game and shoot him or it's, something. It's fucking <laughs> you know stupid. <laughs> like, it's fucking like, stupid. it's a game, bro. Like, if he's doing something, bro, fuck him up in the game. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he touched your ass, bro. Go grab that branch over there and hit him over the fucking head with it. Yep. <laughs> like, it's a game, bro. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like people are just, they, they overthink things. And they're just like, you know what? It's, we live in the most emotional fucking time ever in history, yeah, it's bro. Like, like, everybody's super emotional for no reason. We live in, like, the time of, like, people being emo and, like, really, like... But not being, like, emo. outwardly emo. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's, yeah like it's like, everybody's like, just emotional as fuck, bro. I don't know. It's the sign of the times, like... I don't know, bro. <laughs> I watched the movie 300, bro, and I was there was some scenes where I was like, bro, wow, bro, these niggas are real men. Oh, yeah, the Spartans and shit? Yeah, this yeah. nigga was like, yo, I hope that scratch on your eye doesn't fuck around and, you know, whatever, I you mean, in the battle. And he's like, bro, it's just the eye. God bless me with another one. Yeah. Oh, oh, and he well. lost his eye. Yeah. He's like, yeah, God gave me a spare. I mean, that's, a, <laughs> yo, that's, that, that's some real shit. You know bro. what I mean? Imagine losing a leg. You know, bro, I got, I got another leg. I'll hop, like, bro. <laughs> I'll hop. I'll fucking wobble over there. Yeah, you know what I'm bro. 300, man. Nah, but yeah, bro. Going to the next topic, man. Round of applause to this fucking guy. Y'all can look at us like we're pieces of shit. Whatever you want to look at me like. I don't care. All right? I don't it, care. I don't care. But shout out to Shimon Hayot. Shimon Hayot. I don't know how you say his name, but Hayot. 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 Nah, bro. Hayot, bro. This fucking guy, man. This guy. Shimon Hayot is officially banned from all dating apps. He is accused of finessing women out of $10 million on dating sites. Acting like he's rich, he'd pick up women on private jets, spoil them, sweet talk them, and then ask for money. He broke one lady for $500,000. Finesse. Bro, That's again, a finesse. round Yo. of applause. Bro, if you. Yo, bro, finesse. listen. Beautiful. If you have the bread to go get on a private jet, bro, yeah. that's a $50,000 flight one way. Yeah. So at the crazy. end of the day, bro, you might have a little bit of your own money. You know what I'm saying? He might, like, come yeah, he, on. He bro. might have some How many bread? women do this to men every day? Yeah. How many women do this to men every day? And they finesse, finesse the they, fuck out of men for some hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands, yeah. thousands of dollars. Nobody bans them from a dating app. Nah, for real. They got a fat ass and a pretty face. Mm. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares. Now nah, for real. That's I mean it happens every day, bro, but you know that double standard like you were saying. I was yeah. getting, you know that's it's so true, bro. It's so fucking it's true. It's a double standard when it comes to that shit. Like, bro, he shouldn't be banned from that. No, nah, I nah. should get a fucking medal. Nah, bro, like <laughs> yo, you give me, medal, you're giving bro. me money at your own fucking risk. Okay? You Why did, it, it's yeah. a gift. Yeah. Like, yo, sorry that she fell in love with the fucking panini over here, the fucking penis. Was, was it? And then you fuck around and give me some money. Like, what's wrong with that? Was it paperwork involved? You know, that's that's the questions I want to know. Like, was there paperwork saying like, "Hey, like I want to be part of this company or I want to be an investor in this company and there's paperwork and sign, you know, signatures and nah, yeah, I they mean, they probably like, just gave him bread. Yeah, if that's if that's the case, they probably then, just gave him checks. Yeah, but then like, come on, bro. It it has to be a gift because if you're giving somebody five hundred thousand dollars, bro. I mean, you probably they because it didn't say anything about like like it just said he was sweet talked them. So mm. like he's he talked you out of some bread, and you had enough bread to where you thought that five hundred thousand dollars wasn't going to break your bank. Yeah, let's be real. That so has. who's who's wrong? Like, what happens is the women probably found out about the other women. And that's when shit hit the fan. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you're not just doing this with me. I'm not exclusive. Yeah. You're treating me like all these other hoes. I bet. Yeah. So now I want my money back. Nah, for real. And I'm that's not, probably what happened. I'm bro. not even going to lie, bro. My mom, she finessed the shit out of this guy. <laughs> Yo, shout out my mom, bro. I'm not even. I'm not even supposed to be talking about this, man. <laughs> but she finessed the fuck out of somebody. He was like a high you. And yo, bro. And sometimes you got. Hey, listen, yeah. man. You got to finesse a finesse. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. If you, that's an art. Yeah, <laughs> like this. Yeah, that's an art. Finesse and this, a finesse. This guy had bread. This guy has bread, bread. Bro, like I'm talking about. Like it's a drop in a bucket for that nigga. Like bro. that oil money bread, bro. <laughs> Yeah, nah, for like, yo, some, but that's not gonna bother him. Nah, it's nah. Like, nigga, like I said, it's a drop in a bucket for him. It's yeah, like, all right, cool. It's, like, it's like, right. I, just, I won't do business with you ever again. <laughs> now, fuck you. Nah, I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah, fuck, fuck you. Yeah. But it's like, now it's like, I'm still in position to do shit. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I can still go do business somewhere else. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you just won't have that in with me now. It's fucked up, but sometimes, hey, listen, bro, you gotta do what you think is best. <laughs> nah, that is, that is, bro. So that's fucking wild to me, man. That's wild. Yeah, People nah, be, be, but there's a lot of double standards, bro, and there's a lot of shit that goes on. You know what I'm saying? Like in life, period, bro. You know, I be seeing a lot of these younger guys, bro. Shout out to y'all, younger guys that be watching us, man. Uh, y'all be going through shit in life. You know what I'm saying? That we've all been through and shit. Yeah. And it's like, bro, you got to pick growth and loyalty to yourself over loyalty to others. You know what I'm saying? Because that could be a downfall, bro. You know what I mean, you got to focus on what you got to focus on, regardless of what you look like to other people. Yeah. We've talked about that a lot of times on here. It's like, bro, like, do what you do. Get your money. Set yourself up. Set the foundation up for you and your family. Yeah, exactly. Because all this friend shit. Yeah, that's out the window, bro. Yeah, bro. Like when you when you grow up and you you start having you know a girlfriend that you're real serious about, you know you got family, you know that's getting older, you know there's stuff that you can't really do if you ain't got money. Like if you don't Facts. got the money for it, then you're not gonna be able to take care of them, and that's just the world that we live in. And you got to really think, like man, like no one else is gonna come save you. No one's gonna come save your fucking family. No one's gonna come help your grandma out because she can't afford living at this house. No that's one's going to come save you. That's real life problems. That's a fact. That only money can fix. Exactly. And that's why it's like, you're going to, that, that was the second part of that, of that topic I wanted to talk about. It's like your growth, when you're going through your growth, bro, as a, as a grown up, but especially as men, you're going to look lame doing it. <laughs> you're going to look lame. Yeah. Because lame some people are still stuck on a certain mindset of being a fucking child. Honestly, that's the best way I could put it. Like, you're still stuck in the mindset of being a child. And when you start growing up and you start doing certain shit and you start moving different and you start realizing what's best for you and your your family and your future, you're going to look lame to a lot of people. But don't ever, and this is for the younger guys, because, you know, us growing ups, we've been through it, we understand this. But, like, for the younger kids, you're 20, 21, going through this right now, like, all your friends from high school, they're looking at you different because what you're choosing to do with your life or whatever the fuck is going on. Like, fuck all of that, bro. Them niggas ain't going to be around in another five years. Yep. Half of the niggas that you went to high school with, you you done lost by now. Yeah. And the other half are on their way. Yeah. There's probably, out of 10 motherfuckers, there'd probably be one, two, maybe. Yeah. You know, in 10 years that you really still, like, fuck with. You yep. know what I mean? Like, Yeah, maybe one just, or two. Yeah, just fo- just focus on your family and your future, bro. Because I'm telling you, everybody wants to live it up in their 20s, bro. But the best time of your life is going to be your 40s if you do it right. Because you're still young. Yep. You're, you're able-bodied. If you take care of yourself, you're able-bodied. You're still young, bro. And you can fuck around. And now you set yourself up. You got bread. Yeah, exactly. You got bread to really go do what you want to do. Yep. Not go do what you want to do and come back home broke. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. And maybe make like a little account, man. You know what I mean? Like put a little account aside. Just know, just understand that like this is the money I'm going to put away. Every week. Every, you know It what doesn't I mean? matter if it's 20 bucks, 25, you know what I'm saying? Like Yeah, like me personally, like I just opened up an account for, uh, for crypto not too long ago. And I've been putting in $40 a week for Thanks. about three months. Bro, you know what I mean, and it's a round it's, of applause. You to know, that. and hey, is it my savings account? No, but it's 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 for my future. It's your pillow. Yeah, you you save what you what yeah. you could save, and then you invest what you could invest. Yeah, that's why everybody's budget is different, bro. If you could only save ten dollars a week, save them ten dollars a week. Mm-hmm. Don't go spend it because you're thinking like, oh, it's only ten bucks, bro. Nigga, that's forty dollars a month. Yeah. By the end of the year, you're not thinking about it, but by the end of the year, you're probably gonna have you, you have a couple hundred in there, just sitting in there ready to invest, or if there's a rainy day or whatever the fuck might happen. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying like, but you got to set yourself up, bro, as a youngin, and going through the growth, bro. You're gonna look a certain way. Fuck all that. Fuck what people say. Fuck people's opinions. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to walk in your shoes, and you know what's best for you. Yeah, you know I mean? sure. That that's up. so true. So fucking true, bro. And um. Yeah, man. I don't know, man. I you just gotta watch. You just gotta watch yourself. Take care of your family, and you know, just stay positive, bro. That's the best advice I could really fucking give you, bro. And to never stop. Yeah, facts. Like, yeah, ass, like, bro. Everybody goes through ups and downs. Everybody goes through. You know what I'm saying? Life is a fucking roller coaster, bro. 
You go up, you go down, you get sent to the side, you come back, you fucking almost throw up. You know what I'm saying? If, like, if, <laughs> if, if there was no such thing as being sad, then there would be no happiness. Mm hmm. You know, can't have sunshine without rain. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like it's just like, bro, talk. like it's it's just an emotion too. Like you got to learn how to really control your emotions. And bro, I heard even your breathing. Yeah, it sounds crazy, but like I was watching this interview, this guy, and he was talking about how he saw some guy like like he used to be a monk, and he asked this baby monk. Not he's not a baby monk. He's like, he's like a fucking he's like a fucking kid. A baby monk. <laughs> he's, like a, he's a kid. He's a Krillin. fucking baby. Bring it. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's like a fucking baby fucking monk, bro. Okay. The fuck out of here. Nah, but he's a kid, man, and he's like training these other little kids, and they're becoming like they want to become monks. And he asked the kid, he's like, "What do, what did you teach him?" And he's like, "I taught him how to breathe." And he's just like, wow. He's like, what do you mean? He's like, yeah, man, you know, even snipers need to learn how to breathe. Mm -hmm. Swimmers, everything. You there's know what a I mean? There's Boxing. a breathing technique for everything. Yeah. And it's, it's so true. That's I what didn't yoga even, is. I didn't think about that. That's so, yeah. And yoga. Yeah, said, yoga, you got to yeah. really learn how to breathe, nigga, when you're stretching the muscles. If not, you're going to cramp up, you're going to fucking lock up, and you're going to flop like a fish yeah so if you ever <laughs> i don't think about baby monks now I'm baby just, monks. all i see is like a little baby monk i just see a baby monk in a karate uniform <laughs> yeah he's bald headed <laughs> you know what i mean yeah bro you think yo let me ask you a question though it's gonna what be kind of crazy you know we're talking about babies and shit um <laughs> you think if i had a baby bro you think fucking it'll come out bald no no, I think you got fucked. It skips a generation, bro. You think you think my my baby's gonna come out Your with a full set of hair? Your baby's gonna come out with a fucking great hairline. Oh my god, for life! And you're gonna be mad. You're gonna be like, wow, <laughs> this piece of shit. Yeah, what the this fuck? fucking guy? I mean, you came out of my ball sack, bro. Bro, I didn't start. I didn't start growing hair till I was three years old. My mom told oh, me. Oh, you were destined to be bald, bro. Yeah, That's fucking insane. I came out of my mom's fucking vagina and bald. <laughs> And I, I think most babies do though, bro. I'm not gonna lie. And they used to, yeah, yeah. I think so too. But some don't. Kevin came. Kevin came out with some hair, bro. Hey, you hairy motherfucker. Yeah, he had a full set of hair when he came out, bro. I did too. I yeah, did too. Uh, yeah, bro. You got the most perfect hairline I ever nah, fucking seen, bro. Yo, My shit's people, starting to go, man. Yo, people need to understand something, bro. People that wear <laughs> fucking hats, it doesn't necessarily mean they're hiding their fucking hairline. Nah, I wear they, hats every day, bro. We had a couple messages. They're trying to make us feel like shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> and they were like, oh, like they. I was laughing my ass off, bro. Yeah, it was just like that's why you're bald. And I'm <laughs> like, okay, and so what? And then they try to say that low key was bald. I'm like, bro, this guy has the most beautiful hairline I've bro, ever fucking seen. They just don't watch the show. It's yeah, okay. Yeah. That's why I was laughing. I was like, bro, I could tell just by what you're trying to say. Yeah, I get that it. You don't watch us. I get it. Yeah, I get it, <laughs> but I don't at the same time because it was just like, bro, you don't know us. And second. Come on, bro. Look at the other fucking videos. <laughs> bro, you. that shit made me laugh, bro. I was dying in the room. Bro, no like, cap. you don't wear hats all the fucking time. You know what I mean? And it's like, well, fuck you, motherfucker. Somebody, yeah, nah. Somebody. I wear hats a lot, bro. But, that, like, that's true. Like, just because you you wear hats doesn't mean you have a fucked up hair. Yeah, right? hell that's nah. Nah, bro. That's catfishing and shit. Nah, real hat fishing, bitch. Oh, hat fishing. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I said it wrong. Fucking like hat fishing. But nah, listen, man. Time that you enjoy wasted isn't time wasted, right? Like, yeah. If you fuck around, bro, and you enjoy just sitting out back, bro, drinking a little bourbon and smoking a cigar, to somebody else, you're like, yo, you just wasted an hour and a half, two hours of your fucking life. I swear to God. But that's not wasting time for you. You're sitting there contemplating, thinking, relaxing. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, what am I going to do this next week? What's the plan? What's this? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And they're, they're looking at you like, oh, this nigga they ain't doing shit. Yeah. But- in a game of chess, bro, there's a lot of thinking before a move is made. Ooh. Sometimes the king don't move for a long fucking time, but when he move, it's the power move. You it's know the, what I'm saying? It's, the it's like power. that's what people don't understand. It's like a lot of niggas look busy every day, but what are you really doing? Like, are you just looking busy, or are you actually doing what? You know what I'm saying? Like, are you making moves? Yeah, you know what I mean, like, there's a difference. You know what I mean? Like, there's a big difference in between those things, bro. But I just feel like that's one of the realest quotes I ever seen, bro. You know what I'm saying? Time that you enjoy wasting isn't time wasting. Yeah, bro, because everybody's time is different. Some people enjoy certain things that other people don't. Facts. So Facts. I'm looking at your fucking joy and I'm like, that's a fucking shitty that's time. That's trash. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and then you're looking at mine. We all do that shit, though, And too. you're looking at mine, it's the same shit. And I'm yeah. just like, I'm loving life. I'm living life, <laughs> you know? But on the outside, it looks so fucking shit. You know, sometimes good and sometimes Man, shit, listen. you know? Sometimes good, sometimes <laughs> shit, all right? Yeah. <laughs> that was the realest thing I ever fucking heard. Bro. No, I'm telling He's you. He's like, bro. how's life, man? How's life, man? You know, sometimes good, sometimes shit. And I was just like, oh, hey, wow. Bro. You know, that's life. That's literally I, the answer to life right there. Round of applause, bro. Sometimes good. Sometimes shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that, like, it, bro, you ever ask somebody just like how you were telling me, you're like, bro, like, how's your mental health? Like, how, like, how are you? And mm-hmm. then they're just like, what do you end up saying? I forgot. Man, <laughs> niggas be trying. Yo, look, I'm gonna say something real quick. Y'all niggas be trying to act too tough for your own fucking like, sake. Yeah, we know you're like, a teddy bear. It's like, bro, listen, bro. It's okay. Like, I'm asking you how you how you doing. Yeah, bro. How's how your mental you? state? How are you feeling, bro? You know what I'm saying, niggas? Shit, it's great getting to the money. All I'm types like, of bro, shit. We don't like, care bro, about the I money. I don't give a fuck. I didn't ask you about your fucking money, nigga. Yeah, I didn't care about money. That. Doesn't bring you happiness. It just helps you pay your bills. Yeah, we want to <laughs> like, know how are you? Are yeah, you okay? Like, Did you wake up today and not like want to like blow your head off? Facts. Like for real. What's going on? Yeah. in your fucking mind. Like, are you okay? Because like that's something that it's dying out, bro. Like we need to get back to really check. Like everybody, bro, with this quarantine shit and everything, like with social media and all this shit. Like people, people are dying. getting more and more conditioned yeah. to not fucking talk to each other. Yes. Like people are getting more and more conditioned to go a whole month without fucking seeing each other in person months yeah. at a time sometime. And, and it's like, bro, like we got to get back to like, like real life is real life. Like yeah. we should get together and enjoy each other's company from time to time. And like, you know what I'm saying? Cause pe- like you said, bro, people are dying, bro. Yeah. People, people are dying. Are dying. They're, they're, you know what I'm saying? And life is short, bro. Like, yeah like we've gotten into a point in time bro where it's crazy with how anti-social people really are bro seriously like people don't want to go fucking order their own food anymore yeah like with you know no what I'm groceries like, and shit like my mom's like oh like yeah we got the groceries yeah the like, whole year we don't have to go to a grocery store they just come and they drop it off and i'm right. just like wow like that's not that's not normal like, bro i've met some good people at grocery stores me too like you just yeah. standing in a line and they're like, "Yo, this line's long as fuck, isn't it?" Or maybe you, run, you maybe you run into somebody you haven't seen in years. And you're yeah, like, "Wow, yeah, man, oh, how damn. are you, bro?" Exactly. Like, and then all of just, that shit that comes into play mentally. Like you know, like people don't realize that, but it does, man. It, it's it's like a very important part into mental health is being social and being around other people. Like people don't understand that. Bro, like, humans need other humans. Man. You know, like sometimes you can't do it on your own. Like there's nothing in history that has ever been done by one man alone. We learn except for Jesus. And we learn stuff from one another. Right. Like you're you, learning stuff from from each other. Like people don't realize that but bro, we, your we strength ex- might be my weakness and vice versa. You know what I'm exchang- saying? Like, we're exchanging information. It gets deep. Yeah, like exchanging information, like exchanging energy. It, bro, listen, man, like it's more than just like it's healthy for you, bro. You ever, it's healthy for you to be around other people. You ever seen that where um, there was like doctors to be talk- around the right people? Though. Th- there was doctors talking about, you know, people in the, you know, the common the common flu. You see what I'm saying? People that have that. We need each other to support our immune system. Of course, it's the basically the it's same fucking, exactly exactly the same shit. It's like we need it's each other, nature, yeah. bro. Yeah. It's nature, bro. Like it's literally nature. There's certain things that you do that you don't know why you do it, bro. It's just your natural instinct. Yeah, there's certain time of the year where women are more likely to fuck. It's for a reason. Yeah, there's a certain time of the year where men feel like they need to lock shit down. It's for a reason. Yep, it's all na- a, a, a biological clock. Like there's certain things that nature takes care of for us, yeah, and we're fighting that, bro. That's why people are so fucking depressed. Cause like, nigga, you're fighting against nature, and it's gonna win. <laughs> nature <laughs> yeah. has won every fucking time, yeah. any time in history that you look back. Yeah, anytime. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, just stop being so fucking antisocial, man. And we've all we've all fucking done it. I've done oh, it. Oh yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying, but shit, there's that's not- why I brought up. It's like the antisocial people, bro, they just get tired of people, period, because they pour they pour, you know, their heart into people and then they fuck them over. Yeah. And that's understandable, yeah, it bro. Is, it we've is. all been through that. Yeah. But it's like everybody ain't like that. No. Nah. And you got to gravitate towards the people that aren't. Yeah. And then you know when, what I'm you, saying? when you like, start to realize it, bro, like I know we don't have too much time, but I just want to say, you know, I'm so I'm so used to this this type of person in, in my life. Like, let's say, like, I'm so used to this toxic behavior from my from my partner, right? And all these girls I've seen in the past, 
And then I actually put myself in a position with people and girls that aren't like that. But mm -hmm. I'm so used to that. My buddy's like, man, bro, bro, they're not like that. You know, it made me think like, wow, like there are different people. Yeah, bro. Like, you know, like she just like I'm put I'll put in an example real quick. We were out in the bar and it looked like she stormed off and left and she was mad. The normal toxic Latina that I'm used to is like she's really fucking mad and she's not coming back. But the type of girl that we were around, they just left and it was just something like, you know, she wasn't mad at all. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's, no, it's, no, it's, no, it's like it's like it's a different type of person. So everybody's different. It's Everybody, a different type of mentality, bro. You know? You know what I'm saying? It's a different mentality. And I say it all the time, bro. Like, you got to look at the family. You got to look at the family oriented. If you're trying to marry this person, especially. Yeah, yeah. If not, it's whatever. But, like, you should still be careful what you stick your dick in. You, because. Yeah, you be thinking, like, everybody's the same. When that one person, or when you're so used to that one type of behavior, one type of person, mm -hmm. like, you think, oh, everybody else is like that. And yeah. it's not. Yeah. It's just, bro. Every human has an egotistical side. Every human has a side where, like, their ego is inflated. And a lot of us think that our world is the world. Like, our small world of what we've experienced and what we go through every day, we be thinking everything is like that. Yeah. And it's like that everywhere, and everyone's like that, and it's not. It's a small portion. I noticed that when I moved to Ocala, bro, quick. People yeah, are way friendly. You told me that, yeah. I was surprised. Like, yeah. I would walk in the supermarket, and my sister's like, yo, yeah, stop like, mugging niggas, yeah, bro. Yeah, for real. And I'm like, yo... Like I'm not trying to make Daltona sound hard, but we don't do that here. Yeah, it's like like if you know each other, you're like, yo, what up, bro? Yeah. But it's for not, it's like, man, I don't gotta say good morning to you. Yeah, exactly. And like it changes your mindset. Like, wait, whoa, like this is probably how we should. Like we should probably say good morning to each other real quick. Exactly. You know what I'm saying whether I know you or not. Good morning. How you yeah, doing? It's like keep when, walking. It's like you know when we went to Lowe's in Ocala. You and me. You remember mm -hmm. that? And I came out, and you're like. And bro, there was like people talking to each other, and I was walking. This guy like said hi to me or good morning, and I was just like. And I was like, "Whoa, that's weird." You're yeah, like, see, bro? I told you're you, like, bro. See, I told you. I was, I was like, just like, like that, it's different where you go, different places. Yeah. So just remember that, man. Your small town, where you're from, or your city, or wherever you're from, it's not like that. Or the in, type of people, in every yeah, place, exactly. People are different. Mentalities are different. You know, that's why people go to fucking Silicon Valley because the mentality is get bread. Yeah. Period. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You go to different places for different yeah. things. But listen, man, we appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that notification bell so you know the notified every time we drop. I fucked that up. But listen, man, go down in the description, get yourself some merch, go over to Patreon if you haven't done so already. And yeah, man, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love.